We made it here safely last night and today is our first full day here. Okay, so first off, we're super happy to be here. We're here celebrating my birthday. We've never been to Kenya before, so this is like going to be a really fun experience for the both of us. Last night, flying, we went to Paris first from Atlanta and then from Paris to Nairobi. Getting out of the Kenyan Nairobi airport was absolutely crazy. The line was insane. I think we spent like an hour getting out, going through immigration, then going through customs. And then we made it here like around 12.45 a.m. Nairobi time. We planned to be here at 10.30. So you can see how much of a delay <laughs> we had. But the Airbnb is so cute. So let me go ahead and get into the timber. So here is the front door right here when you come on in and then you are greeted with this beautiful living room. It's so warm and cozy. I love the colors in here. And then you guys check out the view. It's so pretty. And seeing this for the first time this morning waking up, super appreciative because of like all of the trees. They look so gorgeous and like all the little flowers like that tree specifically is so cute. But there's two little chairs out here and then like a bar with a chair, bar stool. And there's a lot of little plants around this place, which is nice. So that's what this little area looks like. Last night we were watching Netflix. And then next to the door, this way you have the whole kitchen area and of course another plant. When we got here last night, we made Indomie. <laughs> Because, like I said, it was 1 a.m., so good thing we packed some. But, yeah, this is the overall kitchen vibe. It's so bright in, in here. And let's see the view from this side in the daytime. Okay, more trees. And I love these little baskets. I'm, like, grabbing all the inspo here, but I think those are so cute to put, like, fruit and veggies in. And then, I don't think I showed you guys the ceilings in here. It's really beautiful. Like how they did the wood, like shiplappy type barn look. I don't know. And then we have an arch right here going this way. And this is the bathroom right here. This place has no AC, so <laughs> you see windows open. That is why. And then this is our bedroom. I'll pop up a picture of what this actually looks like in the listing with the bed made all pretty, <laughs> but we have a wardrobe right here. Gorgeous view again. And then like a mirror over here on this wall. And that's pretty much it. Okay, so our plan for today, we have a lot of fun things going on. First, we are going to get breakfast and then we're going to an elephant sanctuary and then we have a cooking class today. Let's go ahead and get the day started.
down in the dust is Kamili, who is about three years old. Was well, it is okay to touch them if they are next to you. The problem with them is when you feed them. Animals, most of the wild animals will trust anyone who will feed them. Not only wild, wild animals, even human beings. So where they get food is where they develop their trust. Development of trust. And that is why we don't allow anyone to feed They all go back into the wild. They all join different groups of wild elephants of their choices. But it takes they take different times. Oh, wow. Some will take five years, some will take seven, seven years before they get adapted. But they all go back into the wild. Yes, when we take them to Sava, we take them in groups. Some of the babies will decide to walk away, look for help, look for company, and look for food. In that process of walking away, in the winter hall, on my left, is Tabu, two and a half years. Another starvation victim. Far end inside the water hole is Mashua. Two and a half years. Alright. Okay. <laughs> hey She's so cute. <laughs> Hi. Hi. We can do the Sava East National Park and Kibwe's Forest. Well, not gradually, it will interact with the also wild, other wild elephants until the time the wild elephant will invite them and adopt them in the family. When they connect the parks, which makes the animals get attracted to feed on the crops. And that is why. Okay, y'all, we just finished the elephant sanctuary tour. And when I tell you it's a must do from when you come to Kenya, it, I had so much fun. I was laughing the entire time hearing the stories about the elephants. We're sad, but also like cool that they were rescued. Like that's the happy ending of it all. A lot of the elephants were splattering mud everywhere. So I got a few battle wounds, but some people <laughs> look way worse than me like I'm talking covered in mud and then you guys will not believe what happened to me my shoe pop okay <laughs> it's supposed to look like this and this is all that's left right now and my foot got really ashy for some reason I put I did put on lotion okay so now we're about to go to our cooking class and we're gonna shop for veggies and fruits in the market and then we're going to be going to our home to make a traditional Kenyan meal.
tongue. No. Like a truly a tribal language. Mm -hmm. Yes. I do. That's why I want to record so I can make it at home. Oh, like when we went to Ghana, I had we like tried a lot of jollof rice. Yes. So now when I come home, I try. I made it a few times. Oh wow! Yeah, it wow. tastes pretty good. Potato, potato, and the green banana. So and the green peas. So we cook together and then we mash so it's our traditional food side. You know, if that one is Ugali, Ugali is a simple dish, and then that one you can get it anywhere. Okay. And uh, for the vegetables, if you want, we able to get the green vegetables. With, depending on what we bring together. Okay. Sounds good. From the beginning, so you've had the different. Uh, so they can't match. Yeah. They can't match a little bit. A different size. And then you'll be cutting it with your hands. Depending. But usually we cut it with our hands and then we wrap it with our rest of the food. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Y
So it's nice and breezy, and this is like what's behind me. It's really, really nice. So we also got our clothes made earlier. They will be done probably tomorrow at this point. I got a really cute dress made. Let me show you guys a picture of it. Oh, okay, yeah. And we'll show you guys what it actually looks like when we get it. <laughs> That looks yummy, yummy. Ooh, that looks good. Yum, yum, yum. Yeah. Yummy, yummy. And this is the spuma. Spuma, okay, spuma. Yeah. How yummy! Yeah. Thank you. Let's keep moving this way. Are you sure? Pop it in his mouth. Why can't we do it Make with the open hand? Silence at all times. Do not tease the no giraffe. Drawing, no smoking. No firewood. Did you really? There's a lot of them out there. I don't know if you'll see these on the safari, do you think? He's a sweet boy. Oh, okay. All right, y'all, so we are just leaving the giraffe center. And it was such an experience. You know, honestly, I was really scared being close to the giraffe. But once I saw the little kids doing it, I was like, I need to, I need to do better. So I um, watched Marcus do it a few times. I saw everybody else doing it. Got the hang of how it was supposed to be done. And then I just fed them. And it was really cool. I did feel their tongue. 
It did, I kept telling myself, it's just gonna feel like how Marshmallow feels, you know, when I'm giving her a tree or I feel her like me or whatever. No, absolutely not. The tongue, it felt hairy a little and it wasn't as soft if I'm comparing it to a dog's tongue, like Marshy's tongue. So yeah, it was a fun experience and we got to learn a lot of the history. You guys saw like the cup of snacks that they gave us. So we were, at first we thought like, oh, I was only, only supposed to get one each. No, basically that cup is like just a snack for them because they eat so many like pounds of leaves per day. Like that's their whole entire diet. So that was really cool to be able to feed them and see the baby giraffes. I hope I got it for you guys on camera. And we also saw the giraffe manor. If you guys see that hotel where the giraffes come inside the bedroom and eat with you, all that type of stuff. We got to see that from the outside at least. Okay, we're gonna take a picture and then we're going to another museum. Okay, so as you guys can see, we're in KFC. This wasn't the plan to come here. We actually were gonna go to a Caribbean barbecue spot, but unfortunately, um, we weren't. It was just out of the way. After spending like 45 minutes in traffic to get to the museum, and they wouldn't let us in because it was closing in like 10 minutes, to going another 27 minutes outside of the city, it would have taken a full hour for us to get back. So we decided not to do that and our food just came. Here it is. So Marcus got um, wings and like a honey soy garlic sauce. And then I just got chicken and fries. He got fries. And then we got these mango Minute Maid drinks as well as a Sprite and ketchup. We try to like eat at a KFC overseas. I don't know if y'all know, but the Jamaican KFC is the best one I've ever had. So we're gonna see. And the um, one in Ghana too is really good. So we're gonna see if the Kenyan KFC is good. It's always better than back home. We don't even eat it back home. So here we go. Today is our third full day in Nairobi. I cannot believe it. We actually slept in today because, woo, we were so tired. So the plan originally was for us to go to Mombasa today, but we realized yesterday that like that wasn't going to happen because of just how things have been going for us. Time is just going so quick here. So we decided to stay another day in Nairobi to like explore the city a little bit more here instead of going to explore another city. And since we did that today, we were supposed to be waking up at 7.30 a.m. this morning. Y'all know. It's like, look at my watch, it's 10.30. And so we slept in until like nine something. And it felt really, really good to sleep in. And I feel like that was my, first time getting a good sleep like overnight you know so anyways right now we're gonna try our hands again at going back to the national museum of kenya and then we have some fun like little food places to go to and shopping to do and then tomorrow we're finally going to the safari i'm so excited 
excited, you guys, to see all the animals and stuff. So tonight we have to make sure we grocery shop because we're basically camping when we get to the safari camp. It's it's not like camping camping, but it is, um, hold on y'all, so the power went out here and the Airbnb lady just messaged me. But yeah, it's not like camping camping. Okay, it's because of the Wi Fi, probably. You turned it off? Okay. So sorry to hear this. She said, let me check with something. Okay, yeah, so the power is out right now, but it's fine, you know? It's just like, why to go out? Mm -hmm. um, but it's something that I'm used to from being in Ghana. Like, there's something called Doom Sword, the power will go out, but. Um, this is, will be our first time experiencing it in Nairobi, and I don't know if it's everywhere or just this apartment. So, anyways, I'm about to put my shoes on. We're about to go and have a really fun adventure today. It, so it's mine. <laughs> Okay y'all, so we are at Nairobi Street Kitchen. The concept is really cool. It kind of reminds us of Pont City Market. You basically can go around to any of the little food trucks or like shipping containers and then you order your food. So, so far we've gotten um, pizza and we've also gotten like some chickeny type things that we'll show you guys in a minute. And then we have more things to get after that. Dessert from this um, churros. churros from this si, place. Senor. And then ice cream sandwiches from that place. So we're really excited to like eat and be foodies today. It's big too. Whole it's pizza. Huge. You guys, this is only five dollars. Hold on. How much was it? For? Oh. Ten fifty. Okay. Seven bucks. Oh, I feel like Scarface.
Mmm, it came with french fries too? Did we order all this? Oh my gosh, all of this for Just made it out of Village Market Mall. It is really, really nice. It's probably the nicest mall I've been to in all of Africa, but especially here in Kenya, I really enjoyed it. It's a lot of fun shops and a lot of different activities you could do inside of there. As you guys saw, we did mini golf randomly, and we're just having like a really fun, chill day. Um, the first store we went to, I don't know if I vlogged it, but I was able to get one of my nephews like a little gift. And now we're gonna head back to the Airbnb because we are so tired. And um, we have a lot of stuff we need to do. First, we need to see if the power's back on because if not, our host has another Airbnb that we're gonna go to and stay at instead. And then um, the clothes that we got made yesterday are ready, so we'll try those on for you guys. All right, y'all, our clothes are here. And we're so excited to open them. I don't know. Oh, this is the extras? Let's see. The edges are so fun. Ooh, right, a little something. Something, a little something. So guys, this is the fabric I picked. I don't know if I showed y'all yesterday, but this is the one that I chose to get my dress made out of. And then, oh my gosh, these look like, Oh my goodness, this looks so cute. Oh, Guys, let me set y'all up. Hold on. Let me set y'all up right here. Yeah. Let's show yours first. Okay, okay. Okay, y'all, this is my dress. Oh, the battery's dying. No. Oh, no. Now you gotta change it. Oh my gosh, it is so long. Wow, it is really big, too, you guys. And this is the top and the back. You can't really tell what it looks like right now. It don't really look like too much. But I'm going to put it on and then wow, we'll see. Oh, wow, you have a lot left. Okay, show them yours real quick. And then we'll go get dressed. All right, folks. This is a shirt and pants trousers set. These are the trousers. Fresh drip, you feel me? Oh, those Big are drip. nice. Shirt. Oh, yeah. the shirt is Oh, he got a little touch on the back. Okay, okay. Let me see the front. Oh, wow. This is a nice shirt. He did that. He did things he did that. This is nice. Okay, let's try it on. So today is our last day staying at the Moringa Court Apartments. 
we are now going to be on our journey to the safari now but first we have to get on a train to get us closer to the safari camp and then a car service from the safari camp is going to be picking us up and taking us an hour into the park so it's gonna be a really fun experience we really enjoyed our time here it's not even this building that we're staying in it's like back 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 there but um yeah it was really nice had a great sleep last night and the train leaves at eight so we're trying to get there by seven it is currently 6 15. got all our bags and here you guys we have all our snacks so i don't think i explained this but the safari camp is self-catering so we have to cook our own food so that's why i've been calling it like a little camping trip so we got popcorn in here it's like raining right now to you guys we have an extra water a whole bunch of like veggies because we're gonna make like fried rice oranges are in here apples bananas cookies just a whole bunch of stuff i'll give you guys a better look once we get there see y'all at the train station Tito and D station. This is where. Oh, that's so pretty. It feels so good out here, too, y'all. In Nairobi, it was cold and rainy. I was like, this is not the birthday vibe. But this is giving birthday vibe. So I love that. However, we, um, we're um waiting on another couple of passengers that are coming from Mombasa on the train, but their train gets here at 11.18 and it's 11.02 now. So we have about 15 minutes to wait. Here you go. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, so let me tell you guys about my experience on the train. The train was cool. Like I saw, I got a glimpse of what the first class seats look like and it's kind of the same except it's only two next to each other you know like how it would be on a normal bus but we were sitting three in a row and then three in a row with a little table so it was a little crowded because people were in front of us but it would be better if oh oh it probably be better if no one you guys know what i mean right it was it was fine it was fine so we paid 450 for those tickets so that's basically two bucks to get all the way here i mean you can't beat that and then the first class tickets are probably around eight dollars um and yeah you can decide i guess for yourself if that's worth it or not they need a ticket to make the train go faster it was going a little slow, wasn't it? It was going 100 kilometers at the top. They're like 60 miles per hour. Yeah, it could go faster, but I think they're trying to be safe. Yeah, it's not. It's yeah. an older train. It's, it's an old train. High speed rail. No, 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 no. So yeah, they doing the best they can. But yeah, we're just gonna wait here for a little while, and then we will be going to the camp. I'm so excited. Oh, I don't think I showed you guys the car we're in. It's legit, like you a know, little. Showing the wheels.
for shower, we have warm water, though we depend on solar. So when you want to shower, let the water run a bit so that uh, you can enjoy your shower. And uh, power is 24 seven, though we are on generator. So sometimes you may find a blackout, but it won't take long to produce salt. The other thing that you can see, the camp is not faced and we are surrounded by five water pumps. Over here and also for the self catering banners, we also have water holes and it's also not first. So when it's get to seven in the evening, like for those on this side, mostly we have security. So when you want to go to the tent, ask the security to go to the tent. And whoever will take you to the tent will show you we have security features. When you are ready to come to this side, you sit on and wait at the balcony and the security will also come to escort you. Okay, you guys, so we've made it to our room at the safari camp, and this is pretty much what it looks like. They, we have three beds for some reason. <laughs> um, they're all, like, singles, so that's cool, I guess, like twins. And then um, there's the bathroom in there. I'll show you guys around. Prop Let me give y'all a proper tour in just a second. But the interesting thing about this place is that you cannot walk around by yourself. They are like really, really strict about that. We have to have someone take us to the main camp or have a Maasai warrior walk us around the camp because this camp is not fenced in. It's literally like in the safari, like in the savannah. So anything at any time could appear and then we have to protect ourselves so so yeah that's that i think pretty soon after the tour i'll put all the groceries away but let me go ahead and work on the tour now and i'm gonna do it with my other camera hey y'all so this is the tour of our safari camp it's just safari <laughs> uh, let me get the um, camera real quick so i can show them this is what it looks like from this side, you guys. Deep anymore, so just tell me. All right, y'all, so this is the little key to get into our unit. And then out here, we have like a whole little patio area. I love this, this is super cute. So we can sit out here, maybe have like our breakfasts and stuff. And then uh, hopefully you guys saw the fire pit area if you wanted to grow we could. Behind this door is the kitchen, which, cause we're gonna do a lot of cooking. And honestly, before booking this, I did not know that it was like its own thing. I thought this was in the room, so I'm kind of shocked by that. Hold on. There we go. Okay. In this area, we have some cookers and silverware. Oh snap. A fridge, is it cold in here? Not really. Plates, all of that, and I think this is a window. Okay, I'm not really sure, but that's what this area looks like. Okay, and now we are going into the room. And I really like the room because it has like this like Dutch door feature, which someday in my home I'd want something like this. Okay, come on. In. We've already opened up all the windows pretty much to get that nice breeze of flowing and going. And then we have some beds, we actually have three of them, so that's cool. And then over here we have like a little sitting area and a closet wardrobe over here in that corner. And, oh, sorry. And then finally back here, we have the bathroom. Here we go. Really, really simple. And that is pretty much the whole tour, you guys, of our little Kitani Banza that we're staying at at seven.
so it's a little bit later in the evening we've had our dinner we've been resting a bit and tonight we're actually going to be doing a night game drive so i'm really really excited about that they're actually gonna come pick us up in like 15 minutes or so so i'm pretty much wearing the same thing i had on earlier this black and white this black and white tank and then i have on these shorts earlier though on the train i was wearing pants as you guys probably saw and i might put those on again but i'm definitely gonna hose myself down in mosquito spray even though i haven't really seen that many mosquitoes out here but just in case but right now the sun is going down and you guys it is so pretty i'm pretty sure if you guys can see that mountain back there i'm pretty sure that's mount kilimanjaro because i read that you can see views sorry the birds are going crazy and there's been so many animals like roaming through here so i'm low-key scared to move from where i am there's been so many animals but anyways oh i thought that was something oh my gosh okay i shouldn't be scared i shouldn't be scared right y'all anyways i want to give y'all a better view I'm pretty sure that's Mount Kilimanjaro. Can you guys see like it's going up right here and then up on this side? I'll come out here in the morning and try to show you guys, but the sunset is so pretty. So I'm hoping that when we finish with the um, night game drive, I'm hoping that, oh, sorry y'all, it's really dark. Hold on, there we go. I'm hoping that we will be able to come out here and do like a little fire. Marcus hasn't been feeling well, but, um, oh, it's a person, oh, that scared me. Marcus hasn't been feeling too well, but um, hopefully he'll feel better soon. So yeah, I think I'm gonna wear the shorts. I just need to put on lotion and my legs are so ashy. But being here has been so, so, so much fun. Like I've really enjoyed this whole entire experience so far and just so thankful like looking out here looking at god's creation i am truly in awe truly
I guess I was too tired to give y'all a recap before I went to bed that night, but it was now the next day. The night game safari drive was really awesome. We had a great experience seeing all the animals. We were hoping to see like some lions and some other animals interacting with each other, but we didn't. But the things we did see were super duper awesome. And now this morning we woke up very, very early, 5 a.m., crack of dawn, so we can get out and do another morning game drive because we're supposed to see a lot more animals during the morning time as well. So that's the journey that we're on now. Look at that. That's scary, that's scary, bro. You guys saw last night we did a night safari which is really cool and we got to see a few animals so so far today we've already seen lions and right now we're at this place called Mzima Springs and he's about to take us to see the hippopotamuses and I'm so excited <laughs> I said it like that on purpose to annoy Marcus but yeah he's about to take us to see the hippos this is where we are right now. And we have on our matching shirts today. My birthday's tomorrow. It's approximately 50 kilometers away from here. From Churu Hill, it flows underground. Mm -hmm. Then when it reaches here, it begins to flow on the surface. As it flows on the surface, I'll give time to take pictures for the phone. Okay, you go first.
matter what if they do. For the hippos? You can over here. You see one over here on the left? It's like completely under there. Oh, wow. So we just made it back from our morning game drive and it was so fun. I had a really, really good time. I um, I really didn't know too much like what to expect this morning with it, but it was everything I could ask for more. Like seeing the lions was so, 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 so cool. And as we go through, hopefully I'll pop up on this. Hopefully I will. Future me will pop up on the screen, like the different animals and stuff that we saw. But yeah, I am hungry. I'm also sleepy, so I think we're going to make some oatmeal. We're gonna take a nap, or you might do that in reverse order. I don't know. But I just want to update you guys. It was so much fun. You guys know that I'm obsessed with Disney, so I took this opportunity to have a little Animal Kingdom themed photo shoot. After this, we went swimming and then it was time to go on a walk with a Maasai warrior through the bush.
Okay, y'all, so we just got back from our nighttime safari. Marcus is just like a Maasai warrior right now. Come on, man. I just got to link it around me. Y'all, look. Hold up. I have on Halloween jammies. Meanwhile, yeah, he looks like a Maasai warrior. It's so cute. <laughs> but we're about to make our last and final meal here at Severn. We are going to be making some... Um, I thought we were having breakfast in the morning. Oh, well, yeah, that is true. So it's gonna be our second to last meal. We're gonna be making uh, fried basically rice. fried rice. I love to shrimp fried rice, but ain't no shrimp, there's no chicken, it's just veggie fried rice. So we're gonna get our water going and then we'll show you guys. Hi guys, good morning. So today is officially my birthday. It's October 7th, 7.52 a.m. here in Kenya, but back home it's still October 6th. I think, yeah, I think it's still October 6th. Hold on, let me check the clock because I keep getting confused with the time zones. Um, it's 12.52 a.m. back home in Atlanta. So yes, it is my birthday back home too, which is so exciting so happy to see this day i woke up early and i did like a lot of prayer and stuff and just reflections on this year year number 29 for me and it's honestly it feels good to be here in kenya and like surrounded by the nature on this birthday so i'm really happy to be here i usually go to disney or like for the past few years i've been going to disney for my birthday yeah it's like the most magical place on earth and um we kind of brought that vibe here yesterday and this is like one of the most magical places on earth too so i just feel so lucky that i've been able to spend my birthdays at the most magical places so anyways today we are leaving the campsite that we're at the safari camp called severin it was a great experience i would totally recommend if you want to come to kenya and you want to do it budget friendly to definitely stay here in the katani bandas i mean it was super inexpensive i'll pop up prices for you guys and there's also like the luxury tent camps that are closer to the main reception and the restaurant and the pool and all that stuff we're five minutes away from all of that but there's a driver that takes you to and from for free and then they pick you up and stuff of course for all your excursions but yeah the price even for the luxury um tent camps isn't that much more we actually were going to stay there but it wasn't available on october 5th it was only available on the 6th so um the lady did say we could stay there one night and then stay we'll stay here one night and then stay there the next night that it was available but i was like now nah, it's okay we'll just camp it out you know which really isn't camping we'll just be here in the banda um and i'm happy you made that decision because i really like it over here and you're like really close up with the animals like i just saw <laughs> i just saw a baboon walk by a little bit and then last night when we came there was a whole bunch of um impala out there definitely check out severin like i said it's really inexpensive because i did really extensive research to find a safari camp and a lot of them are quite pricey when i say quite pricey i mean like 500 dollars a night you know and then up and then up once you add the activities and like the full board with the inclusive meals and then your bar beverages and all that stuff so we saved a lot of money by staying here and we still had a really, really great experience. So it just depends on, you know, your budget, what you're trying to do and how much money you want to spend. So, yeah, 
Anyway, saying goodbye to the room. This is what our mosquito net looks like put down. Um, the guy who manages the banda, Alex, he is so amazing. Like every night, we were actually, every night we would be out like doing something, as you guys know. And so when we'd come back, he'd have like all the windows closed and he says he sprayed for the mosquitoes and he put our net down for us because I don't even know how he does it, but he put it down. And then in the mornings, he put comes in and he'll put it up and like, you know, open all the windows, just freshen up the space, like cleaning, taking out. Like, I don't know, like, like room service. And I did not expect that staying over here at the band. Like, I thought it'd be like more like an Airbnb. You're kind of doing your own thing. No one checks up on you. No one comes in. No, this man had organized my stuff. <laughs> he hung up some things and he, you know, did a cute little design with the toilet paper. It's like, it felt so fancy. Okay, the itinerary for today. So we were supposed to get massages today and um, I don't think we'll be doing that because my friend showed up on my birthday. <laughs> so I don't know, I just don't feel, I don't think I'll be comfortable like laying down and getting rubbed on. So anyway, I think instead we're just going to eat. I have a really cute dress for tonight for dinner that we're gonna wear, that I'm going to wear. <laughs> and probably when we get to Nairobi, we'll have some like lunchy type stuff because we were gonna make breakfast here. We brought pancake mix with us all the way from America. You guys, it was so crazy getting this through TSA, like because it was a powdery substance. They had to, the lady had to open it up. She changed her gloves about four or five times, which I appreciated. I appreciated that. And then she poured some out on a little piece of paper and then put it under a machine and scanned it. And everywhere we've gone, we this has been examined. Not with like people pouring it out, but like we get stopped and asked like, what is this? And I'll talk to you guys when we are getting, probably leaving here and then getting on the train. I'm gonna miss this place. I wish we could stay like one more night here. This is the one we're in. 31. Or Suara 2. I don't know, but the key also says. Suara B2. So, yeah. So these right here are the luxury tent camps I was telling you guys about and they're like all over here too. Look at here, look there. And they're like all over there. y'all so we are officially in Nairobi I wish I could show you guys the craziness that it's outside of the train station it is a little overwhelming but we were able to get an uber really really quickly and there's so many taxis out there but it was a lot of people coming off the train people getting onto the train and when you come out here there's a lot of like ubers and stuff so anyways our uber driver just went to go pay the fare because pretty much every single parking place here in Nairobi there's a fee to park your car 
So he went to go pay that real quick so we can get out of here quickly. And then we're gonna be going to a new Airbnb. It's by the same host as last time, but it's just a different location. So I'm excited to get there and then hopefully we'll get something to eat. made it back to our airbnb we got here right after the train and we immediately went out to eat so that's what you guys saw we went to cj's it's a really cute little spot here in kilimani which is the area we said that we would like we always talk about moving to a place when we go there so we was like oh that would be the kilimani would be the area that we would live in it's a really really nice area and but it's not like the bougiest area in kenya so let me give you guys a little Airbnb tour. Here we have um, the front door where you come in right here. And then this over here. I like how she does like these cool accent walls. And then this door takes you outside to the patio. You can like dry off your clothes and stuff. Let me see. Okay, yeah, it's locked right now. And then here we have the kitchen, which is so cutie. I think this is an adorable kitchen, you guys. And I was looking at the cooker and I was like, this looks brand new. This looks brand new to me. And I was looking at this. I wasn't quite sure what it was, but it says it's an infrared oven. And then she has this cute little um, fridge right here, microwave. And I'm sure in all of the cupboards are things that we would need. But look at the tile. It has like little um, fruits on it. Really cute. Okay, so coming this way. We have the main living space and through that door is the balcony. So the walls are painted this really nice green color and this is the space. I feel like they did such a good job at decorating it from the lighting to like the finishes they chose to the furniture. It's all really cute, like I love these lights up here. Adorable and then right here is this little sideboard table. You can just put stuff there and another table. Through here, we have the bathroom. Real simple, real old school bathroom, you know? And then through here, we have the bedroom, which has this beautiful wall color. Like, I'm obsessed with this wall color so much. I'm grabbing all the inspo I can right now. But yeah, this is what this room looks like. And then here's the outside. This area, I guess, is on the come up. There's like a lot of construction being done around here in Kilimani. But yeah, there's no TV or anything in here, or a mirror. Actually, here's the mirror, right here, in the wardrobe. Oh, and that's my dress I'm gonna wear tonight, you guys. I'm planning to wear this tonight, we'll see. It's really, really cute, I got it from Zara. It's a crossbody, or crisscross back dress, whatever. But yeah, y'all, this is the entire Airbnb. So since we're not getting the massages, I need to message them as soon as my phone is charged. I'm gonna message them and um, let them know that we're not gonna be doing that because we were supposed to be there at five today for the massages. I really wanted a massage, y'all, but it's just not meant to be. So we're just gonna chill out here and watch Love is Blind. And um, and then tonight we're gonna go out for our fancy birthday dinner. So yeah, Marcus even got me some flowers. I don't know what this is on my leg. Oh, that must be Oreo. Some flowers on the roadside. Y'all, there's so many like little roadside shops that sell flowers and stuff. So these are the ones that he picked out for me. So cute. And they match perfectly with my dress for later on tonight. Okay. I'll chat with you guys soon. <laughs> okay, y'all, so we are ready for the birthday dinner. We're going to Mama Ashanti, and they have like Nigerian and also Ghanaian inspired food there. So we thought that'd be really fun to have that here in Kenya. But this is my outfit. -y. 
so adorbs. Let me give you guys a better look, sis. And then we're literally gonna run out the door. My favorite part. I just love how flowy and fun it is. So yeah, we are going to be leaving any second now. What really bothers me is that I did not bring heels to wear with this outfit because I did not have room. I plan to wear sandals and if, I'm pretty sure I told y'all, my sandals popped like our very first day here. So I'm having to wear this beautiful dress from Zara with sneakers. Jacket, y'all. But I'm gonna take it off for pictures. Alright, y'all. So today is our last and our final day in Nairobi. We're gonna be leaving, our flight leaves tonight at 11. So today y'all, to be honest, we've just been chilling all morning, hanging around here, relaxing and whatnot. Uh, we had a really good time at dinner last night. That The food was absolutely amazing. So actually for this whole entire video, like everywhere we went, where we stayed, recommendations all of that i'm gonna put it in the description box i feel like i should start doing that with my travel videos so you guys can know um you know like have it as a resource to use if you ever decide to come here but um yeah so right now we are about to just go out and buy a few little souvenirs and things like that and later on like i said we'll be going to the airport So we are packing up and we are getting ready to get up out of this Airbnb. The time now is probably, hmm. oh, my watch is dead. Um, I don't know what time it is, but it's almost time for us to get up out of here. So we're gonna be going. I really wish we could stay like one more day, but it's gonna be nice to get back home, see my family, see Marshy. And I guess I'll just go ahead and end off the vlog when we're at the airport and I'll probably do a voiceover to close this out.